Um, but anyway, that's pretty much all I wanted to say on this video. Just a big thanks on Dueling Network for having an amazing three-year run. Hopefully, it will you know stay online. It won't get taken down. 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 God dang it. God freaking dang it. I just had to say that, didn't I? I just had to say that, and what do you know? That was exactly what happened, but wow. can't believe it's been 10 years. I honestly cannot believe it's been 10 years since Dueling ever came on. Not only that, but just being able to play Yu-Gi-Oh! online, like legitimately play it online, have all the cards for free. It's hard to believe. 10 years since all this started. 10 years. Oh man, so just for a little bit of a story time, it was this video right here that I saw when I came home from school that that afternoon. I don't even remember what day of the week it was. I think it was a Wednesday actually. Don't quote me on that, but I think it was a Wednesday. But I remember seeing this video on Your Yu-Gi-Oh's channel and I was just really... I was honestly skeptical at first because it just felt way too good to be true, and then, um, yeah, I watched the video and just it was it was pretty pretty unreal. And you know, this was May 11th, and that was pretty much around the exact time where it, all the Yugi tubers found out about it. I know on the the Wikipedia page it says it was like officially unofficially released May 8th and officially released on May 17th, but basically. All the YouTubers at this time, like this, I was pretty much subscribed to like all the big YouTubers at this time, and this was the the first video that I saw of it. So it's very, very, very difficult to find any YouTube videos of DN before May 11th. So that's why I'm just gonna say the 10 year anniversary is today. But hello, yeah, YouTubers. Here you go. Today, today I'm going to be talking about a new Yu-Gi-Oh online game. It's called. Dueling Network. It is very. I simple. love that intro song so much that they had there. I just I love that intro song so much. It was just it was honestly unreal. It's just such an exciting time to be, just exciting time for Yu-Gi-Oh and just to be part of the game. And man, I remember it so perfectly. Just how many YouTube channels, um, <laughs> were able to grow because of it. Um, most notably Asian Eyes, of course, but. Yeah, I mean, just the game of Yu-Gi-Oh! was super big at this time. The format was really um, diverse, more fair and balanced. The game was simple to play for the most part of, around this time. And that, that was one aspect I really forgot to mention, honestly, in that, that video I made a few months ago called When Was Yu-Gi-Oh! in its Prime. I forgot to mention just, just the simplicity of the game just had a lot, a lot to do with it. Because like, not only was the format more... Um, slow and fair and balanced around this time and diverse, but it was just an honest, honestly, a much more simpler game to play than than Yu Gi Oh today. But anyway, there you go. It's been ten years since you've been able to play Yu Gi Oh online, and just so many people these days just take it for for granted, you know. And I believe other systems like dev pro came out in late 2012 if i remember correctly but yeah it's it's honestly crazy how much this website did for me i was like jumping for joy when this site first came out and being able to just play online for free no download all day every day against you know honestly some of the best players in the world i've played against multiple ycs champions and people that have topped YCSs in the competitive dueling network scene. I mean, a lot of people, a lot of people in the past just bashed on DN for being full of noobs. And yeah, there was a whole bunch of noobs and scrubs and stuff. But you know, once you got up in those high ranks, it was a, there was a humongous competitive community on this website, and it really made me a much better player than I could even imagine. So it it's crazy it's crazy and you know what the sad thing is i'm probably going to be the, the only yugi tuber that's even going to make a video for this i probably am you know out of all these big yugi tubers that are around these days they won't even think twice about it honestly they won't even think twice about it but for me it it, it meant so much and it's honestly really underappreciated in my in my personal opinion but just taking a quick glance of the the wiki page it was 
initially created in 2006, it took Christopher Sal Salvarni, whatever his name is, Blackluster Soldier was his username on the website. But it took him like five years to, to make this site from scratch. You know, we started this in 2006 and it didn't get released till honestly over five years later. He started it in early 2006 and didn't get released until um, May 2011. But Ah oh, man, it's just it's just crazy, you know. As of 2013, it had three million registered users, and just during those early years in 2011, 2012, and even 2013 and 14, to a degree, just those early years, there were just so many online users. Like the site was just hopping each and every day. It was hopping and hopping and hopping. People were like advertising in the in the dual notes all the time, you know, trying to promote stuff or sell stuff. It, it was just crazy, you know. It was. It really, it really was. It was such an, I don't know, I was just, just thinking back of it, and I'm very, I guess, thankful that I was able to see that all happen live in action, but, oh god, what, what, what a time frame that was, just, my, my goodness. My goodness, just that time frame when DN just first came out, and especially, you know, that first year and a half where DN was all you had, you had no DevPro or whatever, or any of those other systems, like DN, that, that was all you had, and that's what everyone used and it was just it, it was just crazy it, it really was like it's just it was very difficult to explain you really had to experience it all firsthand to really just understand just how huge it was at the at the beginning and again these days like it's everything's just all taken for granted you know you got dev pro you got ygo pro you got dueling book thankfully you got um dueling nexus and there's probably some other stuff out in there too but you know, and you got you got so many other like free to play Yu Gi Oh apps. Like I guess you could count Duel Links, just a free app you could download. And there's like there was no free app you could download back then. There's no there's nothing, man. Literally nothing. Just being able to play. You know, I was I was playing this game for you know many months, just not having any way to like legitimately practice. I had to go to locals like every once in a while. Didn't live that close to it. You know, wasn't old enough to drive, obviously, so I mean, it's like, wasn't really many ways for me to really get better, other than going to, like, a few locals here and there and just watching YouTube videos, but, um, yeah, DN, 10 years ago, my god, it's, it's felt, it's honestly felt much longer than that, it's felt so much longer, like, the past five years have felt so much faster than the past 10 years, and, you know, Dueling Book itself has been out for... We just passed the, the four-year anniversary of this website, and, you know, as, as big as it is today, it's just, it was such a shame it was never able to be as big as when DN first came out, and honestly, the number one thing just has to do with the game of Yu-Gi-Oh!, just the game itself just was booty in 2017, like, I'm not gonna sugarcoat, the game was god-awful in 2017, you had two tier zero formats, and then the new mechanic that came out that really scared a lot of players away, and... Um, you just had already, you already had a whole bunch of other things to play on, like YGO Pro and even Dueling Nexus, and it's funny because Dueling Nexus came out, you know, a few months before Dueling Book, but uh, there you go, so four years of Dueling Book, it's such a shame the site was never able to live up to, to DN, like not even, you know, not even close, you know, the first year of this site being on, you couldn't even get a consistent 1,000 users on, and now, nowadays, you get like, 14, 1300, it's nice and all, <laughs> it's, that was, like, Dueling Network in its dying days had, like, so much more than that, you know, Dueling Network, like, in late 2015 would still have at least, like, 3,000 users, but, oh, man, <laughs> whatever, whatever, so, it's kind of crazy, like, the, the site actually still exists, if you go to Dueling Network, it still says the same thing here for, you know, going on almost five years now, like, they're, they're still paying for this, like, someone's still paying for this server or something, like, I don't know, like, how, you would think you would just get a 404 error now, but you, you actually still get this green text thingy majing. it's just, it's like, really, man, really, it's never coming back online, it's never coming back online, it's not happening, but, anyway, there you go, there's your, I didn't, didn't want to make this video super, super long, even though it probably is gonna be long, but, big thanks to Chris, Blacklister Soldier, for, making this website, and, you know, even X Steven, big thanks for making Dueling Book, even though, um, the Dueling Network days were much, much better than the Dueling Book days, but, uh, it's not really Dueling Book's fault, it's honestly just Konami's fault, to be completely honest, but, um, there you go, there you go, 10 years, 10 years 
since Dueling Network first came out, and man, what a, what a time that was. Just wanted to, to make this video to say um, my thoughts on this, and uh, knowing my luck, I probably am the only YouTuber that even remember this or made a video on this. I mean, I would love to be proven wrong, but honestly, it's kind of sad that I'll, I'm probably the only one that that's going to make a video on this, but there you go, 10 years of Dueling Network, and man, has it changed everything so much, and... Um, wow, that's that's all I got. I don't really know what, what more there is to really say now. I probably forgot some stuff, but this video has already been going on for over 10 minutes. So, anyway, thank you all for watching as always. And leave in the comments your thoughts or funny Dueling Network stories or whatever. And that's all I got to say. Thank you all for watching. And until next time, this has been Stew Dog, and I'm signing out.